You know, I did have another topic for today, but something just told me that sharing this information for those of you that have not seen it yet was a little more important. The controversy associated with this topic alone has always piqued my interest. So we're going to be taking a look at some photographs that were just sent to Earth. Yes, I know what some of you may be thinking already, but if there's one thing on this channel that we do, we cover all aspects of weird anomalous situations, no matter what the topic may be. And that topic today, my friends, is a new image that was just sent to us from the planet Mars. And I gotta say, there are a few things we need to go over via the Curiosity rover. My friends, this could be a fun one. I ask that you stick around while we analyze this information, which is what we're gonna do right here, right now. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends. It is May 12th, 2022, and just a day and a half ago, the internet was presented with some information that has really began to take off. Now, once again, I want to be clear, what we're going to be going over are just some of my opinions while we analyze some photographs that were sent to Earth from the Curiosity rover, and I just couldn't help but notice the amount of attention that a few areas of one particular photograph have been getting. And before we get started analyzing some of these areas, I want to be sure to let you know that I'm linking every single source I'm using in this video. This is not something I found myself. This has been making its rounds over the last day and a half all over the internet with plenty of articles talking about and it. And just like those major Antarctica finds we discovered here on this channel, we are here to simply analyze these photos and see what we're looking at because there is something weird with these shapes and we're going to get into that right now. Now in this photo you're looking at right now, the source of this photo is this site right here. Once again, this will be linked in the description box so you guys can go search this entire area because to be honest this image is so massive just like some of the ones we do get from Mars and the rover where we have all this detail and massive areas to search there could be so many things in this image we still have not even discovered yet so the first one we're going to be looking at is obviously this one which has been attached to basically every article associated with this image that was just received on the 10th now we are going to bring this into a photo editor so we can bring out some light some contrast and just talk about what we're looking at. So here we are within that photo editing program, and it's pretty obvious about what we're going to be talking about here. This structure or this shape that looks like it's almost a doorway into the side of a mountain. Now again, before everybody gets crazy, I am just offering different opinions and offering the information to you to get your ideas and comments about what you think this might be. Now just taking a simple look, the first things I notice are these edges. The top edge right here, and then what looks like a straight edge down, and then of course we have the mountain mountain slope that comes right here that almost looks like it was cut at an angle to flatten this edge out to make it look as if it was made and cut out so you could walk into this part of the mountain. Now there are some observations I've made already with some of the rock that has been laying down in the front here. In fact, this piece right here, if you can imagine it, basically on its top. Pretend this is the top of the rock right here. If we were to flip this up and stick it right to this part of the wall right here, it almost looks as if this piece of the wall used to be stuck to the mountain right around this area. And of course, that's just my opinion, but details are very important and stuff like this. So almost in a way, we can eliminate this rock right here from any sort of relation to what's going on right here. Now we are going to be able to zoom out and look at some more stuff that could possibly explain what's going on here, but I also want you to focus on some of these smooth areas that almost come to a point right around this area and I've scanned these images and what you're looking at here with these lighter colors is what looks to be sand. In fact, if we zoom into this area here, you can almost see that sand is kind of like piled up and blown against chunks of these rocks. So it's almost safe to say that is what we're looking at, a type of sand in the rocky desert-like terrain of Mars. If that's where these pictures even came from, I know a lot of you are going to have a lot of controversy about that. But I gotta say, this is a very odd looking shape to be cut out of a mountain. And many times when it comes to these Mars rover pictures, it almost looks like things could be like an illusion. How the foreground and what you see in front of you can kind of throw you off a little bit because these images are massive. And we're actually looking at a small detail of a much larger image. And again, if we switch over to the main site, just to give you a visual of what I'm talking about, I'm gonna zoom out here and you can see just how small this one little area we're checking out is in comparison 
comparison to the entire image. This one in particular is called MSL3466MR, obviously produced by NASA, so take that with a grain of salt, of course. But I just wanted to show you exactly how large this image is, so we're not under the impression that the image was sent to us with this in the dead center part, as if NASA was focusing on it themselves. So it almost gives a little bit of credit to this photo that it could have been something anomalous within the photo that they didn't notice, if it's anything at all. Again, we are just here to analyze. Now, I want to show you another area here that stuck out to me. In fact, I believe I found this one. I haven't seen anyone highlight this area yet, but take a look at this little piece of probably rock, but it also looks like it's the cap to something. It's got a little bit of a different color than the surroundings around it. In fact, I'll back out a little bit, and we can try to get an idea of where this piece may have come from. Now, again, I'm not jumping to conclusions and claiming that we're looking at any sort of metal object or saucer type shape thing, but it does seem stick out and it's very interesting to see if we look up in this area and try to find a spot where this may have fallen off from and landed it is a little hard to see because nothing up here really matches that color I'll even back out a little more and you can see that the only possibility of this being here is if it either fell from one of these rocks as a piece of rock itself or if it's something else now let's get way in close to this thing and take a look and it does have some jagged edges here it is not a perfectly round shape that would be easier to mistake if we zoomed out. The closer we can get into these images, the more detail we can see. But in my opinion, it just has a weird odd shape that sticks out like a sore thumb. And I would love for you guys to analyze these photos yourselves. I'll give you copies of them. I'll leave links in the description box so you can get right to this website. You can take a snapshot and then bring it into your photo editing programs and change the light and contrast and see what you can come up with. So once again, let's back out of here and we're going to get to the other anomaly. These are fairly close together considering the size of the image. There is one more thing I want to show you outside of these two images, but once again, let's zoom in on the cave or could be cave. And my friends, it's just a very odd looking symmetrical shape. It could be an illusion. It could be just the way the rock formed. We got to remember Mars just had its largest earthquake that we've ever recorded from here on Earth, which was in the 5.0 range. Now, I know that doesn't seem big compared to what we get here on Earth, but our technology was able to pick up that size earthquake, and they're determining it as the biggest ever. Now, I don't know if this crack right here has anything to do with that earthquake, or if this image was taken because they noticed that this area may have changed because of an earthquake. That's all information we don't know about. That's why it's very hard to analyze these photos without being criticized very hard about the possibility of looking at just natural rock formations but this again is just a very strange shape so again we're going to zoom out and i want to show you the third thing i found which is very very interesting and in, and in order for you to find it for those of you that go on this website you're going to go all the way to the far left side of this picture and you're going to zoom in and you're going to see this thing right here now my first impressions with this is where, where did these lines come from what kind of erosion or even type of rock this might be if that's what it is it even has that look to it of old rusty metal and again that's not what I'm calling it. I need to be very clear about this because some people think that I'm pushing this as that these are real foreign objects on Mars and this and that, but we are just simply analyzing these photos. We're looking for cool things that might stick out and we found a few. And there's way more than that. Even if you zoom in on this little area right here, I mean, what could this possibly be right here? The amount of time you can spend on these images is basically endless because they're just so massive and they show so many different rock formations and details that any little thing is very hard to pick up more more than once. All right, and once again, we are fully zoomed out. I want to show you one more area before I let you go. And don't worry, over the next day or two, I'm going to be analyzing each of these photos, breaking them down with the contrast and lighting. But take a look at this. So it looks like we have the front edge of a slope here with a big rock right here. We could trace it all the way up to the top of the screen here. And then it looks like there's a crevice or a crack right here that then shows the other end of a rock up here. And then it almost looks like there's a cave in this area or a settlement. And then we have this dark looking, I'm going to call it an object once again, with a highlighted top. It looks like the top is square there. It looks like we have a little a light refraction right here in this area. But dare I say, it almost looks like some sort of cube type shape sitting in that negative space between this mountain and this mountain. Or should I say this big rock and this big rock. So again, a fourth anomaly found within this giant image sent from the rover to the Earth. All right, my friends. And now it's that time of the video where I ask 
that you leave your comments and concerns, your ideas, your thoughts down below in the comment section. It is very important that we have conversations about this because this is some weird stuff. Even if these are just rock formations, how often do we see stuff like this on Earth, in our desert, in our desolate areas on our planet? Although there are some, we've made major, major discoveries on Antarctica. I'll link those videos as well. But I'm very interested in hearing what you all have to say. With that said, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Shout out to Canada. And don't worry, this won't be the last that you see of the Mars rover dissection pictures. We're going to do this on a regular basis, especially when there are things to look at. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all, and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.